Welcome back to another episode of After Work with Doozy. You're chilling with Doozy himself. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate anyone who really just doesn't mind listening to me rant. <laughs> um, yeah, so this 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 episode I'm doing scriptless, scriptless, uh, and I won't lie, I've already been facing issues. Eh? Like I know the issue I want to talk about, but like to actually structure everything in a way that everyone can that's adhesive or cohesive. Yeah, it's been a bit challenging. So, but we'll see how we get through. We see how hopefully everything makes sense. So today I wanted us to talk about censorship. And before I kick into it, I just want to read out the definition I found on Google. Censorship, the suppression or prohibition of any parts of books, film, news, etc. that are considered obscene, politically unacceptable, or a threat to security. It's actually a pretty good definition. Now, why? Why are we talking about this, Juzi? Because I believe... A lot of us do this whole censorship thing within ourselves as well. Like, we don't just do it with the with what they're talking about here, but you know, censoring your own opinions, censoring the things that you actually say. You know what I mean? Like, we do this, and personally for me, I also censor myself a lot. Uh, but now the idea comes when they talk about like social media and stuff, right? And that's something I find very interesting because it's something I do. I personally don't post a lot on social media, so I, I, I censor myself to a certain extent because. You know, I fear for certain opinions or whatever, whatever, and I don't think that's correct. I don't think that's good. I don't think that's how society grows. What I do think is good is for people to share their opinions. I feel like no matter what the opinion is, as problematic as it may be, I'm a big believer that society should be sharing everything they feel. Why? Because I believe it's in these conversations that we grow as a society, right? I feel like we need to communicate different ideas. Like imagine if everyone was too scared to say anything and no one said anything we wouldn't have all the development we had here. You know, every idea starts with the conversation, usually, even if it's within yourself. So I believe that censorship is not a good thing, right? That's actually where I sit. I lie in the hands where I am actually against censorship. And like, and I've just explained like why, because I believe, bro, we gotta talk. Like, I believe people need to talk more. People need to share ideas more. And in order to do so, you will need to risk offending people. That's just the way life is, in my opinion. Not you, Your opinions are never going to be loved by every single group of people. It doesn't mean you shouldn't say it. You dig what I'm saying? So I do believe uh, that, you know, like, people should talk. And it's censorship, I don't rate. Especially censorship done by social medias. Like, you know, there's been instances where social medias will you know, ban certain people because their views do not align with the actual media company or whatever and stuff like that. See, that I don't write. I don't rate that. But at the end of the day, it is your own private company. Like Twitter, for example, Twitter can ban whoever they want. Why? They're their own private entity, you know what I mean? But, like, the idea of still banning someone because they're saying things you don't schmark, I don't rate that. I don't rate that. And I think, and, and I think that is a bit of a problem. But... This is what actually brought me to wanting to make this into the actual podcast, right? It's the idea that I, although I've lived this way, I've recently been, um, I don't want to say convinced, but I've seen the other side and why censorship is actually good. Let's throw it in, let's throw it into some controversy with the boy Andrew Tate, right? So Andrew Tate is, I think by now, a well-known social media face. Uh, yeah, he says a lot of... Um, Toxic things. Amongst anything good that he says, a lot of the toxic things are the mo most problematic things. So, on the one hand, some people may like him because he says stuff like, shut up and work hard, which is a pretty good message. But on the other hand, he'll say stuff like, the woman in the kitchen or something like that. You know, misogynistic opinions like that. Don't rate. They don't have a space in this world, right? That's not what we want. And now, initially, when I met someone like that, right, I used to believe... Although I don't agree with everything they're saying, I'm happy they have a platform to talk and we can hear that some people actually think like this, you know what I mean? This is where he sits. And, you know, although I may agree with some few opinions he has there, I don't agree with some few opinions that he has there as well, right? He has something that he says that are good, something that he says that are terrible, right? Like any other human being. Does that mean we should shut his voice down? I don't think so. But I recently heard about a case, I forgot from which podcast, it was one of the podcasts, but I heard a case about like a school in, in America, somewhere in America, and they were saying basically like um, a lot of the male kids there are taking a lot of influence from like Andrew Tate in the bad way, and that has caused them to be like disruptive students, like 
they see women differently or they talk to women differently like they're a lot more rude to women than they are to their male counterparts and stuff like that and it seems to stem from a a belief of the andrew tate kind of warrior vibe thing you know you check and you see when i heard that yeah i was like mm, that's a problem that's a problem why because yeah no obviously like see as because as much as i want everyone's opinion to be said the problem is the risk of that is then creating a generation that listens to the wrong opinions and then grows up to be the people we don't want in society for example so like you know what i mean like you get um you know like if you grow up only listening to guys that say aggression is how you handle everything you better fight for violence like maybe there's someone who, like, that that genuine belief that like, you need to fight you need to like fists are the only way to sort anything else right as a normal human being he has rights and he has the right to just share that but the problem is there may be some 12 year old who's looking for guidance and then they find this guy and this guy's like brother we fighting everything we do and then this kid believes violence is the way to everything and then that leads to just a violent kid who becomes a violent adult throughout and causes a havoc throughout his life and for the people around him as well and see there mm, i see why we need the censorship to some extent because it would help if we all had a message like if we, it would help if you know we allowed everyone to talk but we still knew people would be influenced by the right type of people we want in society right um the problem but then that brings up another problem right who, who is the right type of people we want in society i'm using the all violence guy as our uh, mark of a wrong person or someone we don't want in society right so it's like how do we stop if we're gonna allow the person who talks about all violence to talk about all violence, how do we stop him from influencing the type of people that we don't want in the environment? You know, you know what I mean? So that that gets a bit tricky, and 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 then that that brings the question right then: Is censorship a good thing or not? You know, from that point of view, definitely a good thing. But from other point of views, it can be seen as terrible, right? Because it, it's gone to a point now as well where people get censored not because their opinions are actually no no people are getting censored for opinions. It's like my opinion, my opinion, I have every right to say what I want to say. But at the same time, I think the difficulty with censorship is like, who decides what's valid to censor? You know what I mean? Like, like, like I'm saying this violent guy is terrible for society and that's the guy we don't want. But like, that actually could be like someone else, like the guy sitting on the board of all media, for example, is like, that's the kind of guy I want. That's the kind of guy we believe. That's a real man right there. That, you know what I mean? And then they want him to be promoted versus the other people to be shut down. But it's like, whose opinion is right there? And I don't know, I guess, I guess there's no, there, there must be, right? I don't know. Because the thing is, I guess it, there's no objective way to look at it. I don't think. I recently learned about utilitarianism uh, from one of the Harvard professors or what, what. Uh, but it was the idea of like, the action that brings the most joy for the most people and the least pain, that's the one to go for. So for example, the guy who does all the violent stuff, that does not bring the most joy for the most people. So we know that that's not good. So we need to find something that's good, right? So that was an interesting theory. That, like, I, I, I thought that was pretty cool. But it's like, there are breaks to that as well. And it's like, I unfortunately don't have any examples, but it's still like, even then, that's just a definition made up for someone. How do we know this is what we want as a society, this is what we want. And because we don't know, I feel like we have no right to censor anyone then. But at the same time, we, I feel like we do know, right? Like we, we know we don't want a society full of murderers, so we can censor murder information. But even then, that's, that's still unfair. Because there's still some people that would like that. And they have a right to hear that and participate in those conversations too, right? So then it's like, where does censorship leave us? You know what I'm saying? Where it is right now, is it good or is it bad? I don't know. I think it's good. Why? Because I think society has all agreed on a certain amount of like things that are good and then they keep saying those good. And I agree with most of those goods, right? Like we don't want murderers, for example. But I do believe there's a point or so there's an extent that it shouldn't reach that currently I don't think it has reached. But you know, when you hear cases about like, um, you know, Twitter wasn't allowing certain people to say certain things during COVID because it was like misinformation. But then they found out it wasn't misinformation. It just didn't align with what they wanted. It's like, oh, you know what I mean? But is you know, it's like then you, then again you ask yourself, right? It's like, is that fair? No, that's not fair. They don't have a right to do that. But at the same time, so does their own corporation. They have every right to push their own agenda, right? 
or do they have a responsibility to humans or to people to be as fair as possible? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's all bringing up massive questions up here and there. And I thought that was pretty interesting. That's why I wanted to share about it because I've been so on one side of this argument until recently where I'm like, oh, you know what? Actually, the other side is kind of valid too. So I'd love to know what you guys think as well. Um, let me know. Are you guys for censorship? Are you against censorship? And why? And when it, and then again, when it comes to censorship, who decides what is valid enough to be censored? Yeah, yeah. And that brings us to the end of this episode, man. I think I'm going to keep this one short. Um, but more to come, dog. More to come. Thank you so much for everyone's time. And yeah, have a lovely rest of the week.